Pixel art is really popular in retro styled indie games. So in this video, I'm going to show you some of the best tools for making pixel art for your indie games. If you already know how to use them, you can use some of the more advanced image editing tools for pixel art, such as Photoshop. But there's the advantage of specifically pixel programs because they can have tools like tiling and map editors and other specialized tools for pixel art and a simplified interface. Microsoft Paint, while not the best, can get the job done. It doesn't support transparency, so you'll need to set a color to be removed in engine, similar to a green screen. I know RPG Maker supports this, and you can probably get an add-on for engines that don't. Animations can only be done by making a sprite sheet manually. Paint.net is like a more powerful version of Microsoft Paint. It has a few of the most important features of more powerful softwares, such as layers and some filters. A Sprite is one of the most popular pixel art programs. It supports flipbook animations, layers, transparency, and a bunch of other tools, such as the ability to make tiled images easier. Pixel or Pixel or however it's pronounced, Edit is another really popular one that has a lot of really great tools and a nice UI. Pixelart.com with an I is a website that lets you show art on their webpage and they host contests. Its pixel editor is online and it has the most commonly needed tools such as layers and animations. PiscaleApp.com is another free online pixel editor you can check out. Back to desktop apps. The most powerful and expensive pixel editing app is called ProMotion. It has a lot of advanced features such as tile maps so you can preview a level design, color palette animations, and tile drawing. It's popular in more advanced, higher budget pixel art games. I know for one it was used in Shovel Knight. For free pixel art programs you got graph x2 which is really powerful but it's got an outdated interface graphic scale which i don't think is quite as popular but it has a lot of power and a less outdated interface as for recommendations it doesn't really matter too much which one you use for pixel art since pixel art's pretty simple i'd recommend using one that's dedicated to pixel art has animation tools at least and some transparency if you're okay with spending a little bit of money the one i like the best is pixel edit for the free options i kind of like the online ones the best because they're the simplest but graphic scale is pretty good too and graphics 2 is super powerful but its interface is really outdated so it's going to take a bit of a learning curve to get used to it. You can also download each one and play around with them yourself to see which one you like the most. And if you want the one with the absolute most features and get all the tricks used in the old retro games, you can go with ProMotion. Let me know which tool you guys like in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and Hit the notification bell to help my channel grow. Thank you.